What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So Wildcard just released the update where they pushed out the procedurally generated Ark and so you guys if you don't know about this, they released like a kind of temporary version where you can play on a world that just kind of generates over time like a random world with like uh, like a Minecraft world for example. So I went ahead and put in the map seed Loverfella obviously for the best YouTuber of all time and I'm going to host it up and see what my world looks like. So. I'm going to start kind of like a series on this on days where maybe my main server is down or days where I just kind of want to relax a little bit, just kind of play alone like a solo series on these procedurally generated arcs. But they did have like a little disclaimer at the bottom that said, hey guys, we are probably going to be wiping these a lot, super experimental. And it's something that Wildcard probably didn't need to release, but they did release it so people could test it. So this is my very first experience in one of these procedurally generated arcs. So I don't know if it's going to be good, if it's going to be bad, full of glitches. No one really knows, but the main reason it's out right now is just so people can like beta test. I guess they're beta testing a mode in a beta game. That's weird. Or isn't this an alpha game? I don't know, but it's just a good way to test the feature and I'm pretty excited for it because like one of the problems is with Ark, is it a lot? Sorry, this is a super long loading screen. I guess it's going to take longer. All right, we are finally in and that took a really, really long time to load up actually. So if you have like a kind of a weak computer or you're not running this off of an SSD, it might be like, I would say honestly, it could be like a 20 minute wait time like that. That took a very long time. I was just kind of sitting on my phone, like browsing Reddit, reading some Facebook posts. All right, so this is it, this is it. I'm really excited for this. This might be amazing. And I can't wait for what it's gonna bring to PVP. Because when you're playing PVP, you know the island, you know the center, you know Scorched Earth. People have videos like myself on like the best base locate. Oh, this is amazing, wow. But people have videos on the best base locations. Everyone knows where all the caves are, all the best places to live are. People just know it, so you can't hide. Like, there's no there's no way to hide because everyone's always looking in the volcano or underneath the waterfall or whatever base spot you're going to. People are always going to look there. But on these worlds, if you start a new server, like, think, think of this. Think of an extinction server once a month on a randomly generated server. You could, like, find a cave, live in that cave, and then no one would find that cave. Possibly if it's well hidden. You could actually do well as a solo player, like as a mercenary style guy who just lives in the jungle because people aren't going to be able to explore this entire map. I guess it depends on how big the maps are too. But that looks really cool. Some awesome looking mountains over there. I really, I, I mean, this is going to bring so much life into the game. Like I'm someone who plays Ark a lot. I'm someone who has like a lot of hours in Ark. And I'm just going to speed up my uh, movement speed real quick. I put it to slow-mo 10 under the command options at the bottom. Just to kind of sprint around a little bit and see what this world has to offer. See if there's just anything absolutely crazy like that giant mountain up there. Look how cool that is, guys. These mountains are amazing. And like, th oh, we got some ponds in there. This is really, really cool. I'm so, I'm so excited for what this is going to bring to multiplayer. I am just so pumped. So what this looks like is just kind of like a giant kind of, oh, a big skinny island right down the center. Kind of reminds me of the center map a little bit. And it's got different islands over there. We have like a little snow biome island. Look at this little thing up here, a little metal spawn with some, what are these, little jaguar panther things? I don't know. Someone's going to call me out for that, I'm sure. Got a little swamp over here. I mean, this looks like a full-fledged map. Like, this looks like a fantastic map to me. Although, one thing I will point out, the tops of these mountains don't seem very, I don't know, they don't seem very well suited to live on. Like, I don't think I'd be able to live on these because they're so bumpy. Maybe that's something they'll have to work on, but like, this is very early alpha, so there's probably going to be some absolutely wild things going on. Okay, so there's like a miniature redwood biome. It's kind of weird how it borders like that. I guess my opinion is that it should kind of transition into it a little bit better, you know? It shouldn't go from small trees to boom. You're in a redwood forest just like that. So that's a little bit weird. But I'm pretty impressed with it. They made, the way they made it sound, they made it seem like there would be so many errors and it wouldn't be working too well. A little weird redwood tree over here in the center of this mountainous region, which is kind of interesting. But I think this is going to be super fun. Even like like just playing with friends. Something I like to do is just kind of play with my girlfriend on this game. Which I'm lucky enough to have a girlfriend who games a lot. And uh, this could be fun. Just kind of start out and like just find a place to live. Build a few bases across a bunch of different islands. Like there's a little island over there. A couple mountainous regions over there. Another mountain. 
like this is a pretty cozy map and i'm thinking this is the extent of it like what i've seen so i'm thinking this is like all of it right now i don't think it goes out too much farther than this so size wise it's not humongous it's not like center quality where it take you like years to walk across but it does look pretty nice and i think what i'm gonna do is just like start like a series here maybe on certain days i'm gonna play and obviously i have cheating enabled i'm not gonna cheat when i play it but i just kind of wanted to get like an overview kind of look around see what it looks like make sure there were no like giant glitches in it and i'm seeing this right here and this is just screaming this is a base location man oh but there's a spinosaurus right there oh and we got a whole bunch of little little fishies in here some dolphins they look kind of weird on this massive speed increase little manta ray spinosaurus going hard on all the fish down there yeah this is awesome this is a great this is a great location for a base it's friendly other than of course the spinosaurus got some nice trees over here this is a nice peaceful area so i think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead into walk mode slow mo one i believe no slow mo one bring it back into normal pace and we're just gonna start a little mini series here it'll be to play on for like i said a couple times probably just you know days where i'm just not feeling a server maybe days where i, I have to record a couple videos in a day stuff like that and i'm gonna have to go after this not right now but after i play I'm going to have to go through and like increase the rates a little bit because I'm not about to play on official rates. I think maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, 50 times, 150 times, something something reasonable like that. And we're going to build an awesome base. So maybe at some point, you know, once I become rich and famous and all that stuff, which obviously is going to happen to me, um, we'll start up a server, one that I can host and have you guys join me in like our own randomly generated server. Like it'll be, it'll be cool. I have some plans for that, but obviously that's not going to happen for a while. Um, but for now, you know, it's cool to think about. There's a lot of potential with this. It's going to bring a lot of players back into the game, I think, because a lot of people out there, as much as it, as much as it's hard to believe, some of you guys out there are like crazy, like me, pretty addicted to it, I'd say. Some people hate the game. Some people think it gets kind of stale after a while. Like you play on the map, you know how it is. And if you're not playing PvP, PvE, or maybe you're just using not enough mods or something, it could get definitely get stale, and I could see that. So with a few more updates, hopefully they work on the blending a little bit, make it kind of... I don't know, just match, like going different, different uh, biomes a little bit better. And I think it'd be cool to see, I don't know, something like really different. Like a lot of this is kind of like slightly moved. I think it'd be cool to have maybe like in Minecraft they have, I remember they added like an extreme biome thing. What if they added like an extreme biome or like crazy settings where you can make it so your entire world is under a cave or your entire world is like in a mountainous region. I know that's kind of crazy and probably not something they're going to work on as a priority, but I think it'd be kind of cool just to like get on and you say, all right, let's do a, let's do a gameplay where we only live in caves. So like only the cave dinos live there, stuff like that. You could like make challenges for yourself because a game like this, there's no storyline. There's no goal of the game. It's just to play, to have fun, to make a cool base. And maybe if you're on PVP, it's to become the best, but that's the goal. There's no story. So a lot of the fun, a lot of the things you do have to come from your heart and your mind. Like you have to have fun because you're enjoying the game because you make your own goals and so adding things like that like a cave only or maybe i don't know water only once they add those like water bubbles and stuff these cool variations and challenges um i think those would be kind of cool just add a little bit of flair to the game a little a little different make it nice and spiced up a little bit so this is looking this is looking pretty fun but i'm gonna be honest after doing this for a couple minutes i don't know how some of you people play on official i guess it'd be pretty good i usually rate my gameplay like pvp based on how many hours i destroy so if I play for 100 hours on a server, and then I wipe someone's base that played for like 200 hours, I'd call that a successful gameplay. So on official, I guess like a normal base attack might be ruining thousands and thousands, even years of work. I could see that being very satisfying, but you'd have to really work for that. I'm used to hitting a tree once and getting like 50 wood. Hitting a tree and getting one wood? Man, I don't know. That's not very realistic. In real life, I mean, I chop a tree down and I get like two or 3,000 wood from it, so... You know what else would be kind of cool while I'm thinking about things I could add to the game, just kind of like in my own little thought process? I don't know if it's possible, but I remember No Man's Sky. You guys know the game that totally flopped like crazy. I mean, it sold a lot, but like no one plays it now. What if Ark added randomly generated dinosaurs? Is that crazy? Like, is that like a terrible idea or is that actually a good idea? Like, I know it'd probably be hard to do, but wouldn't it be cool to like get in a randomly generated world with some made up dinosaurs and made up abilities? Like, I guess that would kind of change a lot of the game, like some people might split off from the main game and go to the randomness of it, but I think it'd be kind of fun because, like, think what that'd bring to PvP, you could like go up to someone with like a parasaur with a trike head, people aren't going to know what it does, and then you start breathing fire out of its mouth, and you're like, what the crap is this thing? I mean, it'd be like, I don't know, it'd be cool, it'd add some surprising combinations, or maybe, maybe that's what mutations will do if they ever add mutations to the game, maybe they'll get weird mixtures of dinosaurs, I'm not sure what that's going to do. 
uh, if it ever actually comes out, that is. But yeah, this looks really awesome. I've seen a whole bunch of pictures of other people's bases. And if you guys have some cool, uh, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Keys? What are they called? Like the seed, that's what it is. If you have a cool seed, like a really awesome world, and you want to share that one, go ahead and paste that down in the description. I'd love to check it out. I'm sure other people want to see it too. Because, I mean, I'm sure someone's going to get super lucky and have like a ridiculous world that's just absolutely beautiful. Because randomly generated, I'm pretty sure that means there's like, it does not mean there's like infinite possibilities for this. I think so. Which means there could be like anything imaginable on these bases, obviously within a certain size limit and whatever constraints they have put on it. But you could have some pretty wild bases. So I want to see what the coolest base is, or I want to see what the coolest design is, coolest map is. And like, I wonder if someone finds a cool map, will Wildcard take that seed and just say, all right, this is our next map, our newest edition. Frankly, that's not a bad idea. I mean, it makes it easy. You don't have to spend time designing it. And then maybe if that seed is good, they could take the map, go through the map, and just kind of edit it. Like, edit like a giant shell of a map. Make it even better than it is. Ooh, that's weird. I can see inside this tree. But yeah, so far, this is pretty cool. I mean, I like the new biomes. I like the, the things it's adding. But I think it's really going to shine in PvP and PvE aspects because people aren't really going to know what to expect, where to go. It's just going to be like starting out fresh again. Like for those of you who missed the very first opening of ARC, the first few days of ARC, like myself, I didn't start until, oh, there's that Spino. I didn't start till like a year in. So I missed that kind of like that, I don't know, the golden age where everyone was brand new. No one knew how to get metal bases in like two hours, you know? So this is what that would bring back. And in my opinion, you may disagree with me, but in my opinion, the best time to play a game is right when it first comes out. Like when you first start playing a game, that feeling of awe and just that feeling of, I don't know, just first seeing it, it's amazing. I'm not even sure what to call it. But some games you get in for the first time. I remember the first time I played, it was one of the greatest experiences ever. Like I got on, didn't know how to make anything. I started punching trees. I died to like those little dilosaur things all the time. I couldn't make a base. And all I had was like a thatch foundation and maybe a campfire. And I would die all the time. But it, for some reason, it was amazing. And I think this will kind of bring that back, bring some nostalgia back to some of those expert players, which definitely is not including myself. I'm no expert. But that's that's kind of how I feel like this is going to be. So in my opinion, this is an awesome update. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show it off to you guys. I'm not sure if Xbox has the update yet. And uh, I think this will be pretty fun to play on in the future as long as I can get these rates up. So for now, I'm going to call it quits on this server. I got to fix some rates and I got to take some care of some things in the real world. Those of you that are new here, um, I like to like be personal, bring my life into my videos. And I just got through a pretty rough week of exams. So I'm going to go uh, relax for the next few hours. Take the day off and uh, maybe maybe do a little meal prep. I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoy the randomly generated arcs. They're pretty awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.